Hey everyone, I'm Apostle Michelle Peterson and thank you so much for joining me today. We are on the 11th requirement uh, for the covenant of blessings. There are 13 and we are on the 11th one, okay? So today we're going to talk about, this is what the Lord said, the 11th one is agree with God's word, agree with his word, okay? And so um, the thing about it, I have here the scripture, Amos 3 and 3. But the thing about it is that Christians, when we're born again, we need to come into 100% agreement with God's word. Everything he says when he speaks to us, everything he shows us, we need to come into agreement with it. Um, here it says, can two walk together except they be agreed? No, how can we walk with God if we don't agree with his word or agree with him? I mean, you can't walk with him. You can't be in a... Um, uh, intimate relationship with him if you don't agree with his word and what his word says about everything okay so what we need to do is another thing is how can we agree with God's word if we don't even know what God's word says <laughs> a lot of times we go to church and we expect the pastor or someone else to tell us what the word of God says when we have total access to the Bible the Bible is everywhere you can get apps the Bible on it. I mean, there's no sort shortage of the Word of God these days. You, we have no excuse without you know. If we don't know the Word of God, we don't have an excuse that it's like scarce or something. It's not. It's everywhere. So we can actually read the Bible for ourselves, and you know, we may not understand it. The Lord will have to help us understand. And sometimes it may be a year or something later after you read something. You know, a year and then a year later you read it again and all of a sudden you get the revelation of it. So, but it's still good to read it so that, you know, your spirit man is storing everything that you're reading it. And it, the Holy Spirit will bring it back to your remembrance when you actually need it. When you're in that sin, sinful situation or um, where you're about to have a situation where you need to be able to discern if it's something that's of God or if it's demonic and you have that word in you, you'll be able to discern because of the word um, will help you. Okay, so this is actually a requirement of the Lord to be in this covenant relationship with him. You have to agree with this word. You have to 100% agree with his words. Um, whether he's speaking to you, get a uh, message from him. He's, he's giving you a word. Um, he showed you a vision. He's told you what it meant. Whatever it is, you just agree with that, okay? Don't be like Jonah and the Lord wants to save this city because they're sinning <laughs> and he wants to warn, warn them and Jonah totally took off in the opposite direction. Don't be like Jonah. Just agree with them and just, you know, do what he says. Like I'll share a really quick uh, example with you. Um, uh, one of our uh, ministry team um, members a while back she told me that the Lord had told her, gave her a warning for me that the enemy was going to try to kill me. And I was in Chicago and we had to drive back and it was snow and everything, ice. And so what we had to do, we had to, you know, be on that. And, and you know, I had to believe that that was from God and go to the Lord and say, okay, Lord, what do we do? And so we had to, you know, um, destroy all the assignments that was against me, against my life that day. So we did it, took care of it. And, um, you know, somebody else that was with me almost got into a crash and, you know, in the ice that same day. But I got out. When I got out of the car, they almost had a crash. So, you know, the Lord still protected them too. But, you know, it was ultimately a plan to try to kill me that day. But we have to, like I'm telling you, it could be something that can save your life. The Lord can actually reveal something to you. It could be a warning. And you have to act on it. You have to agree with it you know, and trust God and uh, agree with what he's saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this teaching, this requirement, which is really important to the Lord and all these requirements are. Agree with his word, agree with him. And, um, you know, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed everything and I'll see you in the next teaching. God bless.